We're keeping the Northwest wild. We've had great success protecting the large wild areas in Washington and Southern British Columbia, and even success connecting them together with habitat corridors like we did across I-90. As the climate changes, big landscape level connections like that are essential. For almost 20 years, we've been trying to bridge together the Cascades to the Rockies to protect the habitat corridor. If you're a lynx, you can't get from the Cascades to the Rockies without crossing Highway 97 and the ranch country of the Okanagan. But then you're in the Kettle Ridge, which is wild country if we can permanently protect it. And that gets you most of the rest of the way to the Rockies. So we're here in the Tunk Valley of Okanagan County in north central Washington. And this is really the heart of a corridor that stretches from the Rocky Mountains all the way through the Kettle Range up to the Okanagan Valley, up to the North Cascades and the Loomis Forest and North Cascades National Park. Conservation Northwest staff have been working closely with local landowners, ranchers, and farmers with agencies in the state to preserve critical wildlands keep working farms working and intact so they can continue to provide benefits for both people and wildlife, and ensure that we have safe passage under Highway 97 so wildlife can cross from the east side of the valley to the North Cascades on the west. What we got done this summer and fall was to improve the passage for deer under Janus Bridge, so it really serves as an excellent underpass now. We also put in some fences that help funnel the deer towards that underpass. Why do all this effort right here? There's a ton of science that supports this spot is the main connection between the Cascades and the Rockies. Wildlife pass through here, all kinds of different species, and it's evident by the amount of deer that are killed on this highway every year. But as soon as we put the fence in and improved the underpass, we started seeing animals come under the bridge. We've seen cougar, we've seen countless numbers of deer, coyotes, bobcats, a skunk, a couple of old tomcats. It's amazing how many animals are already using what we've built here. Working with the folks around here, if you didn't have their support, you couldn't get anything done. And you also get a lot of knowledge out of the people that have lived there their, their whole life. So we have to listen to them, and if we do, I think we come out with a better uh, project in the end. In the Kettle Range, we have species like Canada lynx, we have habitat for grizzly bear, we have habitat for wolverines. You have these amazing secluded landscapes with these open grassy hillsides or these gorgeous dense cedar forests down the bottom. You have a very big diversity. I am Tiana Luke and I'm the Northeast Washington Conservation Associate for Conservation Northwest and I'm based out of Deer Park, Washington. We are a member of the Northeast Washington Forest Coalition. It's actually a coalition with foresters, with timber industry, with conservationists all working together. For me, working with local communities means that the people that I work with are my friends. I make it a point of my work to have the empathy to see what other people in the community really need because you can't have a healthy forest, you can't have awesome forest recreation or aquatic restoration if your communities aren't thriving. You can't link together populations of lynx or wolverine between those large mountain ranges without permanently protecting the kettle crests. The more permanent, the more legislated our protections, the more likely they'll, they'll be here for generations. There's amazing recreation opportunities there. And people like Bobby Whitaker are working together to promote recreation and conservation. I'm president of the Ferry County Rail Trail Partners, which is a, a nonprofit group that came together to preserve our rail corridor and convert it into a rail trail. Ferry County is swimming in public land here, and it's underutilized, I think, from a recreational standpoint. You've got the Kettle Crest, which is part of the Pacific Northwest Trail, and when you go up to the Kettle Crest, you know, there's still no one there. Working in the Colville National Forest on recreation with the different clubs and groups, you can see how everyone's coming together to make it work out here. And Conservation Northwest have played a key role in everything that's happening out here, everything that's happening that's positive out here. A lot of the collaboration work that we do on this forest isn't easy. We have disagreements with other members. We may not always see eye to eye, but we keep coming back to the table and we keep trying to find common ground. And that's part of the reason that Conservation Northwest is so effective in these areas. We've really got things moving. The momentum is important. So keeping the money flowing in, keeping your donations coming, but really also keeping your support to your legislators and keeping the people talking about this talking about how it's working. 
And as conditions change, as our climate changes, as we see large fires and development and human infrastructure on this landscape, it's critical to preserve that corridor if we want to see species like mule deer and Canada lynx and wolves persist into the future. That's the kind of work that Conservation Northwest is getting done, and it's what's going to keep the Cascades to Rockies corridor intact for future generations. Well, at Conservation Northwest, you might send your check to an office in Seattle, but it's keeping Jay protecting sage lands in, in the Okanagan, keeping Bobby in the next county over, bringing together recreation leaders for conservation. It's keeping Tiana helping protect and restore our forests. That's a lot of bang for your buck. Well, none of this work would be possible without such generous support from our community. Thank you. We couldn't keep the Northwest wild without you.